Hey, welcome everybody. It's Bubba Solo here from Bubba Solo Gaming, and today I'm hunting in Verhunga Savannah, and I'm really near a bunch of springbok creeping up on them. I have my recurve. Oh, there's one calling to me. I know there's a group up here on this hill. I want to check them out, see if there's anything that is maybe gold size. Not that one. And of course, it's really hard to spot these uh, other ones that are behind that one that I already spotted. Here's some on either side of me. See if I can call and bring some of them a little bit closer. The trouble with Springbok is that they are a class three critter. And when you're using the recurve, the only arrows you can use and get integrity on them would be the 350 grain arrows. So they're fairly underpowered arrow. And Springboks, in my experience, are kind of tough. I'm not really sure how well this is going to go if I shoot one of these. I don't know how uh, far they'll run. Okay, there's one creeping up behind me here. I guess I'm creeping up on it. I have total cover, you'll see. Wind isn't great. He should be able to smell me right there. So I'd like to get a shot. Four easy. Okay, this one could be a gold if I can get a shot on it. They have pretty small bodies. And I'm using the recurve, which is uh, no easy weapon to shoot with. I think I got the aim down pretty well. Let's see how this goes. Ooh, how about some slow mo? Watch this shot. Bam! Looks pretty darn good to me, yeah? Okay, how far will he run? 350 green arrows. That's the arrow that I have to use to get integrity on this thing. So I'm calling off to the side. Obviously, they're freaked out because I shot one of their buddies. And there it goes. Let's see if he's dead. All right, he is dead now. All right, vital blood. Definitely hit a vital organ here. Fast forward through some of this, running ahead, and I'm going to pay to open up this hunting structure. I hate these ground blinds in Africa. They're hard to shoot out of. Okay, so fairly long track to get him. Beautiful spot here. I'll highlight the scenery while we look over what he is. All right, I got left lung. So I did everything I needed to do to get uh, complete the harvest check. I got a vital organ. I used the right ammo. I didn't damage any trophy organs. Shot two or fewer times. I'm going to taxidermize this. A gold spring buck. I'm happy with that. With the recurve? Heck yeah. Okay, this is a little bit later on a different lake. And I am surrounded by Gamma's buck. Oh, there's one right there. And this one is a four easy. So might be a gold. Could be a silver, though. I don't know. I've heard, I think, a couple of them around here. And I am hunting with the recurve. And Gemma's Buck are class eight critters. They're pretty big. And so I'm using the 700 grain arrows, which will get me integrity. I can pass the harvest check. So the 700 grain arrows, which you got to use. 540 is underpowered. I think that goes from four to seven. So I got to use these 700 grainers. I'm so glad that we have access to them now. Using the tracer arrow, of course. Oh, beautiful. Lined up for a shot. Nice. <laughs> Two of them call. How about some slow motion? And hear this call. Slow mo. <laughs> the stereo call. And the shot. Oh, looks like a good one. Maybe a little bit into the shoulder. But pretty darn good. I'm happy with that. And there goes another Gems Buck. Yeah, you run away, Gems Buck. Enjoy yourself. I have the tracks turned off, at least the highlighted tracks turned off. So tracking is a little bit more tricky here. I had to turn them off, though, because I was getting major slowdown by this lake on the OG PS4. All right, definitely vital organ hit just now. And we'll run through the woods here on fast forward to get to him. And what size is he? Could he be a gold? Let's look up at the distant horizon here. Just the silver. Okay. Could have been a gold as a four easy. Could have been gold. I got uh, left lung, liver, stomach, total penetration with this 700 grain arrow shot from 16 and a half meters. Feel pretty good about that. Big male, 210.73 kilograms. That'd be good eating. 
And here I am just a little bit further down this lake, and across the way I spotted another Gemsbuck. It is a level four Gemsbuck, of course, class eight. I'm using the muzzleloader this time with the mini ball ammo. And if I could just settle down here, breathe. The mini ball is good for uh, class four to eight, and the muzzleloader pretty much wrecks house. It is a fantastic weapon. You have that long reload. The reload animation takes almost, I don't know, it's like 20 something seconds, I think. And I've shot a couple things over here, but you can see this purple area that I'm about to highlight is uh, where he was right there. Try to center in, that's where I spotted him. And I'll put it on the center of that purple spot and mark it so it's easy to track him. Since I have the tracks off, I need all the advantages I can get. And we'll run fast forward along here jackal that calls out to me but who cares and come up to where this gems buck is there he lies i want to go see where the uh, shot actually took place good looking gems buck right there and there i certainly got uh, vital good shot oh strike jackal track okay how about that that is the vital organ blood spatter so he did not get far like I said, the muzzleloader just wrecks house. I love that weapon. We're going to confirm the trophy, give us something nice to look at here in the distance. But that's a beautiful animal. I would think I'll mount this one if it's gold. Oh, yeah. And it's a goldie. Makes me very happy. Dark fur type. I like that. Right lung, heart, left lung. So total penetration with the uh, 50 caliber mini ball and the Hudzik 50 cap lock in, in Luna. Fun hunt. I mean, I do like sneaking up on him with a bow, but the muzzleloader is just a great weapon to use as well. I'll spend the 6000 That'll look good in the trophy lodge. Brilliant. Hey, if you enjoyed this hunt, please click here to subscribe and click over here to watch more videos.